Welcome to your favourite day of the week and happy holidays everyone! As it's the festive season I thought we'd do something fun on the channel and what's better than an advent calendar? So from now, every single day up until Christmas and Christmas as well, we're going to cover a funny and strange story that has happened throughout history. So make sure you are subscribed to the channel so you don't miss any of these amazing stories because honestly, they're all absolutely fantastic, you do not want to miss them. Anyway, I'm wearing a Santa hat and a summer shirt today to show off my festive spirit. And without further ado, let's find out what's behind door number one of our advent calendar. You've probably read the title and seen the whiteboard, so you might know already. But let's find out anyway. The treasured testicles of the beaver. I thought we'd start off our advent calendar by talking about something that everyone loves. Beaver's testicles. Take a look at this image of this beaver having a nibble on his balls. I know it doesn't look like much of a modern day beaver, but the main point is that he is being chased by a hunter blowing his horn and accompanied by his dogs. So naturally, the beaver does what any man does when he's afraid, and he has a little nibble on his own balls. But this image isn't just a one-time occurrence of artistic freedom. Oh no, 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 no. It happens again, and again, and again. So why do medieval images depict the beaver as such a fond testicle pecker? Well, these beautiful beaver drawings appear in the medieval bestiaries, which were encyclopedias of beasts and plants, and they tell a colourful story of our friend the beaver. The testicles of the beaver were highly sought after, and the clever beaver knew of the desire for his balls, so he came up with a clever plan in order to ensure his escape. If the beaver found himself pursued, he would bite off his own balls and then throw them at the hunters. The hunters now had no reason to chase the beaver and left disappointed, and the beaver would live to see another day. So what would happen if this beaver was chased for a second time? Well, the testicleless beaver would reveal himself to the hunter, saying, Mr. Hunter, I have no balls, you do not need to chase me anymore. And the hunter, give him a little sight and agree, shake his hand and say, I don't need to chase you anymore, you've got no balls, and he'd leave disappointed, and the beaver would live to tell the tale. While there's obviously some fantasy elements in this story, the tale of the value for the beaver's testicles does hold some truths. The testicles have no special value per se, but the animal does have a gland under its tail that secretes a chemical called casterium, with the testicles being thought to be connected to this gland. This chemical is used by the beavers for scent marking, and humans found value in it for its medicinal purposes. The medieval bestiaries also had a religious meaning to these strange stories, where the beaver hunt reminds the man that if he wishes to live chastely and without sin, he must remove what could influence immoral behaviour and throw them at the devil. By doing so, the devil would leave him alone, and if the devil returned, the man would show him he had no trimmings left, so he had a desire to be without sin. The hunter symbolising the devil chasing the man who is the beaver, biting off his balls to live a life without sin. So who would have thought the beaver would be a symbol of a righteous saviour? So I hope you've all enjoyed the tale of the beaver's testicles. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Thank you all for watching everyone and make sure you join us tomorrow where we go through the dumbest battle in history. Make sure you're subscribed so you do not miss that. I'll see you all later everyone. Peace.